Welcome, everyone, to another edition of the First Family of Las Vegas' Daily Free Winner Show, brought to you by the best website on the planet, your one-stop sports betting shop, Sports Memo. Now, guys, I know you missed us this week, right, Dan? Yes. I know we missed you guys. Unfortunately, living in southern Nevada, which is still one of the greatest places in the world to live, Las Vegas. We have sunshine, we have the best food, and we have the greatest clubs, and we got the best shopping. goes without saying, the best entertainment on the planet. Um, unfortunately, it's still kind of a small town, uh, even though it's grown by leaps and bounds over the last 30 or 40 years. It's still kind of a small town. And when we get rain, we flood. When we get wind, the town kind of shuts down. And we are at the beck and call of Cox Communications. And they own the monopoly of internet here in Southern Nevada. Now, the house we live in is a great area. It's one of the nicest areas in all of Southern Nevada, but it's about 30 years old. And any houses that were built more than seven years ago, as many of you may know, they don't have fiber optics. We don't have fiber optics here. One of our houses do, and it's a nightmare. It's still a nightmare. We're still a nightmare this week. Um, but I will tell you, we were without internet. There were people here in Southern Nevada that had no power at all. At least we had our air conditioner because it was 95 degrees. We had a refrigerator and we ate like mules. I probably gained <laughs> four pounds this week. But I wanted you to know that, you know, we weren't just taking a few days off. We couldn't come at you with shows because we were just not reliable to do so. And I want to thank the great folks over at Sports Memo who, uh, you know, they picked up the slack. You know, some great people over there like yeah. Jesse Shul and – and Eric Pauly and, and, and the staff, Chris and Lexi, you guys really came up big. And John Ryan, who covered for me on the MLB show, and I know he did a great job. And, and some of our guests were very patient with us. We could not do a show, and I'm sorry. But it's day to day to see what yeah, happened. And each morning, you know, at 3, 4, 5 in the morning, if I didn't know we had internet, I had to cancel it for the day. Because I didn't want to say we can go, and we couldn't. We wanted to be reliable for you. So having said that, we've got some great things that we'd like to talk about. First, Dion, good morning. Good morning. It is a Friday, it you is. know. And it's Friday the 13th. And on top of everything else, I've been a little under the weather. I mean, I'll tell you how bad I felt. We had ringside to the fight last Saturday. I didn't go. We had a show last night, one of our favorites, The Psychedelic Furs. Some of you guys that like John Hughes movies from the 80s, they had ever, a song in every John Hughes movie. But we didn't go last night. I'm a little under the weather. My voice is a little scratchy. Sexy. Dion says it's sexy. <laughs> we just wanted to say, you know, it's Friday the 13th. Uh, we didn't want to go um, a whole week without doing a show. Thank goodness our internet kicked on last night sometime, so we're good to go. Um, but thank you for being patient with us, for tuning in. But we're making it up to you because we got a hell of a show today. We got the man, the myth, the legend, Ross Benjamin today. He's going to be on. But before we bring him on, Dion, this afternoon, guess who was hosting Full Count? I believe that is me That's today. me. We're going to finish up the week strong with the cleanup hitter, Joe D'Amico. I'm going to be hosting Full Count, the MLB Sports Fan Show Live today at 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. I'll be hosting. I'm going to be joined by who? Eric Pauly and Jesse Shul. So you never know what to expect when Joe D'Amico goes live. I'm going to have Eric and Jesse, and they're a little off the, off the cuff, crazy sons of guns, too. So I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> so tune into that before you make any of your Friday baseball decisions. Let's bring on our Friday guest. He is a pioneer of the sports betting industry. He is all over leaderboards, and he's a good-looking son of a gun to boot. Let's bring him on. Ross Benjamin. Ross, happy Friday to you. Good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, hope you have a better weekend than you had during the week. It's uh, I think sometimes – some of the simple things in life, like internet, we take for granted. You know, especially when we uh, we're so rely we're so needy of that to do our daily work. So, yeah, I could I, I feel your pain because that throws you out of sorts. You're a routine to individual like I am, Joe. I know that. Oh, um, not sure about you, Dion, but I'm sure that that <laughs> definitely threw your rhythm off for the week. You know, Russ, we and you you really hit the nail on the head. We're so reliant on it. But we do take it for granted. It affects yeah. our our television. It affects our computer, our television. It affects our phones. It affects yeah. everything. And when you are a routine person like me, listen, guys, I'm like a guy with ADD. I don't I don't know if I have ADD. Don't comment. <laughs> but I I look straight forward. And I have to do, I have to do lists. I check them off. I'm very organized and regimented. But having no internet threw a curveball in a lot of different things. However, Ross, I will tell you, I watched. 
quite a bit. You know, I watch Criminal Minds and I watch Law and Order and <laughs> I watch a couple of other. We got caught up on Better Call Saul. Great show. Yeah. We had some fun with that. But, you know, some people didn't even have TV. We have a TV that we had. You know, we have Fire Stick. We have some other different things on it. TVs and plus we have a very extensive video game collection. So you know we have video game uh uh we have Xboxes and Playstations and Wii's in every room. So you know we weren't totally bored and we were eating like mules. So other than that, <laughs> you're right though, you know, you were so reliant upon technology. While technology is a good thing, folks, it brings us closer, you know, uh things like that and you're more advanced. If something goes down, you're kind of screwed, you yeah. know. Yeah, you know it's a shame when people can't take a picture with their phone or use their calculator. They have to actually figure something out with pen to paper. Um, you realize how reliant we are on technology. But Ross, we are here with you today. You're all over leaderboards. You've been doing great. I know every time you're on this show, it seems like every time you're on the show, you give out a free winner. I know you got some exciting things you want to tell everybody about and give out a free play. So Ross Benjamin, take it away. Well, thank you, Joe. I appreciate that. And yes, uh, right now, number two on the leaderboard at Sports Memo in terms of money made over the last 30 days, and it extends well beyond that, folks, as well. As a matter of fact, all sports, I'm on a 59-38 and 38 run uh, over my last 97 picks. NBA since April 1st uh, on a 31-15 and 15 run, uh, which is good for 68%. All uh, picks of 4% or better. How about 20 and 5 with my last 25, including a 4% top play last night on the Dallas Mavericks, uh, plus the two, and they were uh, a blowout winner by 19 over <laughs> Phoenix. And tonight, folks, my NBA second round game of the year, that's the Boston Celtics and Milwaukee Bucks game. And um, that's the second round game of the year. That is a 10% highest rated pick. And again, uh, my uh, reminding you on the streak, I have 4% or better picks, 20 and 5 run right now, good for 80%. So you want to keep an eye on that. Also a 3% play in the NBA uh, on the Golden State and Memphis game uh, later on this evening as well. So a lot of good things. Major League Baseball, 16-8 and eight the last 24. Let's get to my free pick, guys. Memphis at Golden State, tips at 10 p.m. Eastern time. I will have a side on this game, a 3% side, as I just touched upon. But I got the total here for a free pick for you. Um, Memphis is coming off a astounding 134-95 to 95 win over Golden State, and that game went over the total of 219 quite easily. Uh, the Grizzlies now have gone 4-0 and under the total in their last four games following an over in the previous game, which obviously that game went over uh, in game five, and uh, now we're going to go into game six and 4-0 and under after and over. So Golden State 3-0 and to the under after going over in a previous game and only a combined 202 points scored per game. Uh, you know, we talk about John Morant being out of the lineup for Memphis, and he's their, uh, he's what makes uh, the st straw that makes the uh, drink or stirs the drink, I should say. <laughs> boy, oh, boy, that was a tongue twister. But anyway, uh, without Morant, Memphis has seemed to tighten the screws defensively uh, and slow the pace of their game down. As a matter of fact, the uh, Grizzlies uh, have held Golden State to 98 points per game and 42.5% shooting over the last two without Morant. And Golden State, one of the better teams defensively at home, giving up just 103 points per game. And this is also a Golden State team that's won under the total in 10 of 12 home games this year when facing an opponent that outscores the opposition by an average of three or more points per game, well, Memphis is a averaging uh, a plus 5.2 point per game differential this season, so that qualifies in that regard. I'm going to go with this game to go under the total, Joe. Memphis Golden State under 218. Ross Benjamin says under in uh, Golden State and Memphis, under 218. Some great angles as usual, Ross. You know, it's a great day on Friday because we know we get to close out the week with one of the best ever. And, and you know, 
numbers don't lie, Ross. And when you yeah. put up numbers like you put up, and it's not just this season, although this season's numbers are great. Season in, season out. I always say, it, buddy, do it once, do it twice, you're lucky. Yeah. Do it a few times, you're good. Do it over decades, you're Ross Benjamin. Ross, we want to thank you for stopping by on Friday and for closing out our week. It's a great way to end the week on a high note. I wish you luck tonight. I know you got to take off. I Apparently, you got another modeling shoot somewhere, probably <laughs> in Mykonos, the island of Mykonos in Greece with the white sand beaches. Thank <laughs> you for stopping by. We appreciate it. And good luck tonight and this weekend. All right. Thank you. And All you right, guys buddy. have a, a great weekend. Love you both. Love you both. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a good weekend. Gotta love Ross Benjamin. You know, not only is he a winning handicapper, he's just so eloquent. He's got great betting angles, and he's a good-looking son of a gun. It <laughs> bothers me that I got to share a screen with him. So let's go from one perennial leaderboard fiction to another. Dion, I know you got a few things you're excited about tonight, okay. and you have a quick free play. Our free play is going to go very quick today, guys. It's going to be just like our wedding night. It's going to be a quickie. Dion, take <laughs> it away. Well, today I have two big winners in two sports. I have my 100% NBA top-rated play and my MLB double play. Both posted right now over at Sports Memo for just $10. And today's free play is going to go ahead and take place on the diamond where the Padres travel to Truist Park to face the Braves in game one of the series. San Diego mm -hmm. comes in here off a 7-5 loss to the Cubs and losing three of their last five games, while Atlanta comes off a 5-3 win over Boston and winning three of their last four. You Darvish and Max Fried are scheduled to start today. Darvish, in his six career starts against Atlanta, is just 1-4 with a 4.80 ERA. Fried? He is 4-2 and two with a 2.68 ERA this season. And in his two career starts against the Padres, he is 2-0 and oh with a 0 0.56 ERA. And last September, he pitched a complete game shutout against San Diego. Atlanta is 5-2 and two the last seven meetings with San Diego and 13-5 and five the last 18 meetings at home. So I am going to go ahead and take the Braves here. First lady of Vegas is take the Braves. She made a believer out of me. I know she made a believer out of you. Go over to Sports Memo right after you review this broadcast. She's got a big play up for 10 bucks. Uh, two big plays? Two Excuse big me, plays. two big plays. A little One. off my game today. Still getting back on my – still getting my sea legs here, guys. <laughs> two big plays, 10 bucks, go over to Sports Memo. I'll tell you what, I'm breathing heavy. I feel like James Gandolfini. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm winded. You can tell I'm a little <laughs> under the weather. All right, sports fans. Uh, let's go to my free it's play. It's kind of sexy, though. It's a little – yeah, it's a little well, – uh, very sexy. I can see how I'm turning you on. Uh, sportsman, not even an internet outage here in Southern Nevada can stop me from bringing you winners. I will go 2-0 tonight. I have my MLB home run play. I have my NBA Celtics Bucks game six winner. Both are available right now. Just $7 each over at Sports Memo. Let's go into the weekend with a bankroll because Joe D'Amico is going to make Friday. Your payday. Follow me. Let's go 2-0 into the weekend. Let's talk about my free play tonight. You know, Ross made some real good points about this game, this matchup tonight. I want to go a little bit further. I want to take the side here. When Jean Marant went down, let's be honest, no one gave Memphis Grizzlies a chance to compete in this series. Game four, they lost a heartbreaker, 101-98. Then in game five, they blew up Golden State by 39 points. Most importantly, guys, to us, the sports betters, they covered both games. As a matter of fact, they've covered every game of the series except for that game three, that strange game three in which they were routed by 30. This is a team that competes very well no matter who is on the court for them. Please understand this, guys. They were out Morant for a good portion of the season, and yet they still managed to be the number two ranked scoring team in the NBA and the number one ranked offensive rebounding team in the NBA. Neither one of those are very small tasks, I'll be honest with you. That's, that says a lot about this team and their coach overall. Um not only that, guys, but this team covers. They're 6-1 and against us by the last seven meetings with Golden State. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. I think eight points is way too many points to give a team like this when fighting for their life, especially take the Grizzlies plus the points. I think it's going to be a tight one. I think Russ, Russ got, a, got, got some great angles with his under. This is going to be a tight game. I agree game. with both of you on it. Tight game. Tight. You agree with both of us? There Absolutely. you go. That's because you have a crush on both of us. <laughs> anyway, um, sports fans, before I run down today's three plays and a couple of announcements, Wow, look at that. Uh, we're getting messages from Slack. We love our Slack channel, guys. <laughs> we're in Slack, which is a communication system within, you know, the internet. And we communicate with people over at Sports Memo. And guys, Jesse Shul just sent me his best bet for the MLB show. 
going to be a good one. We're excited about that. So they'll so have to tune in. They're going to have to tune in. Speaking of, speaking of that MLB show today, a uh, full count to the MLB sports betting show live, 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to be hosting. Joining me will be Eric Pauly. I just mentioned him, Jesse the Body Shul. So tune in for that before you make any of your Friday baseball decisions. Also, go to Sports Memos YouTube page. Guys, go over there, subscribe real quick. Some of the best free content you'll find anywhere on the planet. We do the show. Ross does some stuff. Mm -hmm. We do the baseball show. John does the baseball show. John Ryan. John Ryan also does a couple of great basketball shows. I mean, guy works his butt off. Go over there. Also, go to the Sports Memo Twitter page. The best collection of cappers anywhere on the planet are at Sports Memo, and they put up a ton of free content over there. Also, Dion, what is your Twitter? You can find me over at the First Lady of Vegas, and you can find Joey over at Joe D'Amico Wins. Okay, let's run down the games real quick. Our good buddy Ross Benjamin said, take under 218 Memphis Golden State. Dan, what did you have? I am taking the Braves. And I am taking the Grizzlies. Rawr. Uh, <laughs> the Grizzlies, guys. Uh, Dion, take us out of here. All right. So don't forget to tune in next week as we have some very special guests and more free winners for you. On behalf of Sports Memo, Ross Benjamin, and us, this is the First Family of Vegas. Good luck to everyone out there. Have a winning day.